Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing more of my new trucks. Our first trucks we have here are the Ninja Turtles. Uh, the Donatello and the Michelangelo. And the originals used to be very expensive. Right, the Monster Jam version. The Hot Wheels Monster Jam one. Of these were super pricey online. Uh, they've gone down in value some. But these, these are very cool looking. And for those that know, we also have the original set right here. So these were the two who were first released, In right? In 2020, yes. So we have Raphael. Raphael, the red one with the shiny red rims. I like that. I do too. And Leonardo. Leonardo here. With the pretty blue rims. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so are the rims all colored as? Metallic, yes. Okay. You see uh, they're metallic purple on Donatello and then metallic orange on Michelangelo. Here's the other half of the Hot Wheels uh, two pack here. We got Spur of the Moment and the Loco Punk. Okay, so Spur of the Moment here. Yeah, this is a re-release truck because they made this in 2019 with a uh, steer clear, but I never picked it up. It has a cool western theme to it. And I thought this would be a good time since the Loco Punk is new. So here's Loco Punk. This is a new variant here with the robbery train theme. Okay, I see that. So this is a really cool color. I like his rims. Uh, yeah. Hot Wheels has been using this rim for like several of their trucks. I think Mega Rex in their new place that has these rims as well, but they're purple. Very cool. Has great colors. Really uh, neat. The chassis reminds me of a demo derby. It does. See the safe on the side. So on one side, the safe is closed. But on the other side, it's open. Yep, and the money is flying out. Now here's some trucks that Grandma Carol sent. Special shout out to her. We got Blue Thunder and Full Charge. Wow, look at all the blue. Really cool. It is. And I noticed some on the hood, uh, unlike the NASCAR pack one, uh, the outline isn't as bright as it was. Wow. Well, I really like all the blue on this one. It looks definitely really good. I like the white rims more than I do the yellow on the other. And uh, here's the white full charge. Very cool full charge. Uh, we saw the pink full charge before. I really think it does look cool with the colored tires against a white car. This thing would have looked amazing if it was black and the bolts were yellow. Ooh, I agree. That would look really cool. Or green. That would also look good. But the purple pink doesn't look bad. No, it looks really good. And it has like the magenta all over the tires and the roll cage. All right, here's our first, I guess, singular truck here. We got Monster Mutt Golden Retriever. Ooh, I really love this one. And you can see he has like a tennis ball in his mouth. Yeah, this is an interesting detail they put in here. It's like he's chomping down on it. And it has really cool colors. A cool blend of colors. Uh, this is on the Monster Mutt Dalmatian tooling. Oh, wow. Okay. And I like his tail. Look at that. I, I, I believe initially the collar was supposed to be pink, but they changed it to black. Very cool. I agree. And, uh... This is our first new Monster Mutt since uh, 2020 with Monster Mutt Poodle. All right, our next truck from the same series as the Monster Mutt is Crush Cycle. Okay, so this is a, like a garbage truck. It's on uh, Earth Shakers tooling. And uh, speaking of Earth Shaker, uh, they just released the Earth Shaker Halloween exclusive today. Very cool, and that one is loaded and pumpkins, yeah. right? 
Very neat looking and truck. And I got the back open, but uh, we'll trash it all from Hot Wheels does. Okay. So it doesn't open, but it's uh, a... I think the back would have looked great if it was green or yellow. I, I agree. But, but this blue, blue is a good. cool color. And it's a pretty unique truck. I agree. I like the casting mold they did on the uh, dump bed. You can see like some stripes on it, but red and white stripes on it. All right, next is the Series 31 Megalodon. So this one is kind of basic, right? Yeah. Uh, it's just a regular Megalodon, but with blue rims. But it doesn't look bad. No, it does. It looks... It's kind of like the Jurassic Attack from the case with the purple rims, and uh, unfortunately that one seems to be the peg warmer at our stores. But uh, this one seems to sell pretty well. It does look really cool. Like, this part is very glossy. And the sides are matte. It's definitely interesting. I think it adds for a very unique texture to the truck. It does. And uh, later on in the video, you'll see the Neon Megalodon. Okay. All right, next is our first Hot Wheels Monster Jam we have here. This is Reptoid. Reptoid, okay. And this is from what year, Liam? Uh, I want to say it was 2012 or 2013. Okay. And it has the Spectra Flame red rims. I like it. And this one did come with a little spot on it. Uh, a little blister. That's okay. It happens. I probably might pick up the small hub with the rainbow color and then the one without the red rims. I don't know. But this one looks really cool with the red rims. I agree. This is just a neat looking truck. And I like all the different colors uh, in it. And the hood is probably the most unique part about the truck. With the fangs on it. Yeah. It's very, Kinda very reminds cool. reminds me of a snake bite a little. A little, I can see that. Next up, we got Octonator and Crustacean. And here's Octonator. You notice the design's been updated a little. It has a Monster Jam logo on it now. Oh, I do see that. And the texture has changed a little. And you can see, like, there's some bright red spots in the skin. If you look closely. I do see that. So there's been a little bit of a design change, but the biggest thing is the silver chassis. Very cool. Kinda I like, like how, the color uh, of it. Kind of like what Avenger runs in real life with the silver chassis. Here's Crustacean. Wow, he's very bright. Uh, they did release this one in 2019 uh, in a pack with a Sasquatch, I believe. This one is really cool. I love the really bright red color. It and, really uh, makes Hot it cool. Hot Wheels made this one quite often. It had the matte red. Our next truck is Excalibur from 2007. Okay. 2006, I think, actually. Oh, wow. So but they did re-release re this one in 2007 and 2008. Very cool. It looks like there's just flames going all over it. There's blue flames on the side if you see like through the steel. This is probably my favorite Excalibur scheme. Before they kind of gave it that retro thing. It does have a lot going on. A lot of detail. But not as much detail as say Potty Central for example. And there's the hood with the sword on it. It's a very cool truck. And the roof looks really cool. Kind of like a fire starter from Hot Wheels Monster Trucks in a way, but it's not black. The next truck we have is Nightmare Express. Wow. So here we go with Nightmare Express. Uh, this one is, I think, the only metal-based truck in this video. Okay. It looks very retro. Uh, it looks like Inferno. <laughs> it does. I love the way the flames have blue uh, and yellow and red outline, and orange. It it's just all blended in a very neat way against the black. And they did fill in the grill and headlights in the front. 
Oh, that's cool too. What year is this from, Lee? 2005 or 2004, I think. Wow. Probably the oldest truck in this video. I don't know. Uh, this shocker right here, uh, you'll see it when we go into debt with shocker. All right, here we go with Demo Ace. <laughs> okay. So tell us about this one, Lee. Uh, it's Demo Derby and Race Ace kind of collage. Okay, I can see that. It's very... Ooh, I don't want to drop it. <laughs> uh, there are three other trucks with this kind of thing going on. There's a Bone Shaker V8 Bomber. There's a Tiger Shark Mega Rex. And there's a Gunkster 5 Alarm. That's pretty cool. And uh, this is definitely pretty cool indeed. I really like how they blended the two together. It really looks neat. It does remind me a little bit of uh, Spin Master's Reckless Trucks from 2020. Mm -hmm. You know, like the Patrick Grave Digger and El Toro Loco. Yeah, I do remember those. So this is a very cool you can truck see, uh, with lots of colors and detail. You can see Demo Derby's tire and uh, Race Ace tire. Demo Derby's tires are the spray painted ones. And okay. then Race Ace is the one with the metallic beadlocks. Kind of like the Ninja Turtle Raphael at the beginning. Alright, the next one we have is the 2010 Shocker. This is a cool truck. This is the Shocker scheme that ran in 2000, uh, 2009 and 2010. And they they did a good job on this one. You can see there's like turquoise things on it. If you look at the tailgate, the tailgate's too small. Oh. Wow. And it almost looks like a shark. Uh, yeah, it has the shark, the fighter teeth fighter jet teeth on it. Yeah. And not like V8 bomber. There's his eyes. And uh, not too long ago, we had this shocker on camera. That's right. And then this one has like a camo print on it. It really looks cool. Uh, this one is kind of rare. Is it? Uh, you don't see many listings for this one. Oh. Well, lucky us. Yeah. We have this in our collection. It's a very neat looking it's truck. It's not the rarest truck, though. I'm sure it's not. It definitely isn't. All right, next ones we got Blue Thunder Neon and Alien Invasion Nitro. Right. Yeah, this turquoise kind of Blue Thunder here. Okay. So, I said this before. But this really reminds me of something you would have seen in the 80s with the neon pink and blue kind of turquoise color and the hot pink i really like it it looks good and then we have alien invasion nitro which really looks awesome you can see the sparkles in it i really like the nitros i like how the colors mix with the glitter you can catch it there it's a little overcast today but you can still see that it would have been awesome if they made a thunder roars nitro with this black color absolutely that would have looked rad i love it though yep kind of weird how they chose alien invasion since that truck is retired but it's still cool to see it i agree all right next up is shot therapy here we have Shock Therapy, Amzol. Yep, when we were in the bloopers, we accidentally dropped this truck. All right, next up is, oh no! <laughs> Check out this truck. So, this is a cool looking truck. I'm not sure about the top. It almost looks- It's the same thing on the side. You can, if you see on the side, it has like this design on it, the gray. It's metal. Okay, well, it still looks cool, and it looks like there's some lightning, and it's a really cool blue color. Yeah, there was a red version of this where, like, the gray things were, uh, red. 
but uh, they never made that one for some reason, and they kept this design. Next up, we got Megalodon Neon and Dragon Nitro. This is some neat truck. I really like the brighter blue color. Looks good with the hot pink chassis. Looks very summery. It does. And here's Nitro Dragon. Which I love. I think this one might be my favorite of all the Nitros. Even the Grave Digger? I don't know. It's so hard to say because look at this one. There's just so much color and detail. I, I just really like this one. So I don't know. They might... This one and Grave Digger might be my top two, but it's just such a cool truck. This one's a must have. Yep, it is in the double pack with Megalodon Neon. The last truck we have is the Superstore exclusive Bog Hog. Okay. So this one says, we ain't the baddest, but the bad don't mess with us. Yep, the Red Primer Grave Digger says that on the back. Okay, and it says Anderson Boys. So this truck belongs to who? Uh, Weston. Okay. Weston Anderson. That's his truck. Okay, so this is Weston's. And you notice on the tires it says Bog Hog on it. Uh, no, I never did notice that. That is very cool. And ironically, uh, it's on a Max D. Wilman chassis. <laughs> Oh boy, this is a cool truck though. It's very cool in design and the color. Uh, but one thing, it is missing the little things on the side of the fenders that Son of a Digger has. Okay. But they decided to take them off for some reason. It doesn't mm. look that bad though. Which is your favorite? So I'm gonna have a couple favorites here. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so as I said before, I really love this dragon. Um, the color is just so cool and unique. And I really love this golden retriever monster mutt and the detail of the tennis ball and its mouth. I really like that truck. Do you have one more? Oh, can I pick three? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there is a now on Shocker. Uh-oh, it happens. So, I would say my other favorite would be Bog Hog. I really like Bog Hog. I like the truck and the color. Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Okay. Um, sure, I can do that. Well, I would say... The uh, Demo Ace. Demo Ace is very unique. It's a cool truck. It's a good mix of both trucks. And I really like Excalibur. And I like the flames on the top. And just how the color blends. It's a really cool truck. How about you, Liam? Oh, this is definitely hard. Well... I'm gonna go with the Neon Megalodon. Okay. Uh, I'll probably go with the Bog Hog as well. It's a cool truck. And uh, my third, oh, this is hard, but uh, I'm gonna go with Nightmare Express. I really like how the colors uh, look. Okay, honorable mentions. Uh, my honorable mentions, I'd probably, uh, hold on, uh, do the Shocker. Okay. And my last honorable mention, I'm gonna go with Monster Mutt Golden Retriever. Very cool choices. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Catch you later. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.